What is going on my sexy gamers? It's that one dude, Shotgun6343, as my cats are fighting down there. Fight! Cat fight! Cat fight! Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, get him! Oh, bite him! Anyway, we'll get back to the cat fight in a second. So, I got something in the mail today, and this is it. It is upside down. This is the professional recording microphone stand new series. So basically, I got this because I have a Blue Yeti mic, which some of y'all might have. It's a great mic, it's a good mic. Um, but unfortunately, the way I have it right now, it's just sitting on my desk, my desk over there, and um, it's getting a lot of feedback, because I have to raise it the game, so it hears me loud and clear, but unfortunately, it picks up a lot, a lot of uh, background noise. So I used to have a, uh, what is it, a, uh, just a, a boom mic stand? I think that's what it's called. Uh, where it used to be next to my mouth, but I, the current, where I'm at right now, I don't have much room, so, I got this. So I'm going to be opening this up, try it out, and uh, hopefully see how it works. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Got mine! Oh! Okay, so let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside of it. Hopefully we can put it together because unfortunately I'm not a manly man. I am a terrible, terrible guy that is not manly at all. So I think this is it. I'm not going to lie. When I ordered it, I was thinking it was actually going to be bigger than this. Pretty, I'm pretty surprised because uh, it's, it's relatively small, but no instructions. Okay, so these are the three pieces here. Uh, this I am not going to use because I'm not using a regular mic, but if you had a regular mic, this would work fine. Just put on a regular mic. If you want to, you know, if you have one of those Guitar Hero mics, this will still work. <laughs> this right here is probably the main part of it. Well, not technically, but this is what's going to hold it down. This is A+. Plus. You can, of course, either put it on the bottom of your desk, or you can put it on top. I'm going to go with top, see if it works, and then this is the part that hopefully works. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a lot of crap up here, but I'm just going to try to apply this on here now. So we got a lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. I think that's the way it goes, right? Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty? I should hope so. Alright, so, um, this might be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm just hitting the shit out of my, okay. Uh, oh god, what am I doing? I'm gonna break this before I even use it. Um, so I was applying this on, and I had my camera, this camera underneath, and I let go of this arm, as you see, and that's what happened. And it broke my screen from my little camera. I'm good at this, guys. I'm really good at putting stuff together. So, uh, I probably shouldn't have dropped it again as a demonstration. I think once was enough. But what else I messed up on was, um, this is the hole that, that needs to fit in, into, into this hole. And as you see, someone is not satisfied in this relationship. Uh, so, you gotta make sure you have um, some type of adapter to make this work, because this is not gonna hold it. I thought I needed this little screw thing, but it actually came with it. Uh, basically, I was saying that this is too small to fit in there, but it actually came with it looking th through the package. I must have missed it the first time. Okay, so this is going to be the final resting spot of this mic stand. Of course, uh, I had it up there at first, but I moved it down here. It's more practical down here. Up there, it worked just fine. It came near my mouth, but it was more or less impeding my vision. So I think closer to my mouth and definitely I, you know, not in front of my eyes uh, works the best. You can keep it up there and it works just fine. But my biggest bugaboo with this is... I can focus here. This little hole, then you have a screw that's supposed to go in there, and basically it's supposed to hold this thing steady so it doesn't move. I don't like it because uh, there's no hole in this thing, and that's what causes it to scratch. So I like it moving freely where you can move it left to right and all that good stuff. So that's the biggest complaint I've had with it so far while well, messing around with it. Uh, secondly, there, there are these things, and I am all out of focus here, but these things that you can more or less make it t tighter or looser. They absolutely don't work. Not at all. You can, go, you can go left or you can go right. If you see me doing this, when I turn it, watch. The screw turns. Let me try to zoom in here so you can see it even better. So, uh, when I turn it, oh look, there's a screw turn. So it is absolutely useless. So it, uh, it does not screw tight. It does not get loose. It just stays there. The best way to take it out is get a screwdriver on that side and then do it on that side. I had to do it to mess it around. Of course, as you saw earlier, it came down really hard, so I kind of made it more sturdier somehow, one way or another, I got it to work. But it works pretty fine. As you see, it comes all the way close to me, it go all the way back, it moves all the way around, hey, it's pretty cool. For 20 bucks, not bad. I paid, I think, $18. It's decent. I don't know how well it's gonna hold up, but you can't beat it for that cheap of a price. So guys, if you want to check it out, I'll be having a link in the description below. You can buy it yourself. There's a couple other um, versions of it as well on Amazon. That's where I bought it. Might spend a couple more uh, bucks, maybe uh, get a little bit more, uh, more agile or more sturdier. But for 20 bucks, not bad. So guys, thanks for watching as always, and be sure to subscribe. Check it later. Bye.